going on guys? Bearded Bricks. Here with a little something different. Just a little bit. We're going to go over the our favorite sets that we built and not built of 2020. Hey, these are opinions. Don't forget that. And your opinion's going to be wrong. We'll let you know. Actually, our opinions are pretty close together. They're close. They're pretty close. But once I start talking, I think you're going to realize that I'm, I'm more right. No, you're not. Uh, I think I will. Not more right. I will. More wrong. Uh, uh, I'm always right. They know this. They've watched our channel. They're like, man, Richard's talking. It's right. Mark's talking. So, it's so wrong. order top 10 is what we're going to go with ish. Because I think I tied my first. So I've got one extra set on there than you do. I don't think there's a reason to tie anything. Your tie-in is, is mm, just... Nostalgia. I'm tying it for different... Yeah, I'm tying it for different <laughs> reasons. But 10, we're both in at Dom's Charger. Yeah, the Dom's Charger, I built, marked it and built it. It's just a... It's not as a good build as the Porsche. It's not as a good build as the Batmobile. It's kind of... I mean, it's all Technic pieces. The top doesn't look right. The top doesn't sit right. The motor is pretty cool. The motor all functions and all moves. The, the blower turns. It works like a real engine, but the rest of it is just dumb. So I'm I'm basing that off of the Porsche build that we did, since I didn't build the Dom's Charger and I'm still a little salty about that. But it's they can't see you. We're only doing audio. I know that, but they're getting it that edited in. <laughs> but the knowing how the Porsche was built and then looking at the Charger, I mean it. it it's a Technic set. It is what it is. But yeah, at top of my list, bottom of my list, however you're looking at it, top, in, in tenth spot, and, and in all honesty, could probably be pushed off if we had like one more set that was decent this year. Like uh, if we would have gotten Moss Eisley or something that is sold out. I was, I was going to change my tenth and make the tenth the bus. But I'll say that I like the Charger build a little bit more than the bus just for the fact that it has a lot of moving parts. I agree. That's, that's two different types of builds. Yeah. So in at number nine, you've got the, the Batwing. Batwing. And I've got the Mario sets. The Batwing to me was a, it was a cool build. It was very nostalgic for me. But it just didn't do it. I mean, the, the cockpit's on there really crappy. The the only thing that really moves at all are the mm -hmm. flaps underneath and the brakes on the yeah, top. The brakes on the top. That's why it didn't really make my list. In, the, in all honesty, I could probably switch my tenth out for the Charger for the Batwing because I didn't even realize I forgot to put it on my list. But that's how like the set is cool and it looks good, but the build of it was just kind of meh. But even when it looks cool, if you set it up like it's supposed to be set up, it just sky it goes yeah. up to the sky and you can't even see. That's anything. what I'm saying. It's it's meh. The Batmobile was better, but that was last year because I even tried to stick it on this list, and he's like, "That came out last year," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, it did. That makes sense." So, anyways, the Mario sets, which is a little higher on your list than mine, but we get to show the picture of them here since it's on mine. I, they're cool. They're fun. They're a money grab because they have so many of them and I'm excited to see where they can take it in the future adding really, on to it I'm really mad that the sets that have released for 2021 don't have a rideable Yoshi or a Luigi I agree yes Luigi I can see coming in the future definitely Yoshi who knows um but the the sets how and it so the one one problem I had with the sets is no paper instructions. We yes, talked about definitely. that in length on stream when we built them. Um, and then we, I guess, I don't know, maybe we just didn't read into it enough, but we had no idea that the different colors, when you jump Mario on the different colors, they do different things. And then once you start learning all that, those those sets grow. Like, the depth of them grows a lot. And the, the one crappy thing is, is when you look at it as an adult, like, I, like we talked about a little bit before is you could just create a set or create a level and just skip right to the end. There's no there's no way to stop anything. But if you were an actual person who wanted to sit down and actually play a level and set up a level and do everything the right way, I think it would be a lot more fun. Right. So in at number eight for you is the A Wing. Is the A Wing. The A Wing to me was a really cool build. It was, it's a ship, and it's very symmetrical. You know, one side's mirrored to the other side. It makes just 
kind of like the Batwing. It just it sits there and it's like a, a talk about piece. At least you can see it when it sits there. And it's I think it draws your attention a little more the Batwing because it's white and not black. I agree. Yeah, black gets lost. At least at least on our setup it gets lost. If you had it in a white a light colored room, you're gonna see the Batwing. The and you will lose the A wing except for. I mean, the A wing does have some red in it, so it. You're gonna pick it up more than a Batwing would, but if you're in a dark environment, the Batwing is gone, like the, it disappears. So when it comes to the Batwing versus the the A wing, my only argument about the beat the the whole thing about the Batman being better at all right. is the minifig of the Joker. I can't really say the Keaton because but you're you're a little biased about that just because of the Joker minifig. Yeah. Take the minifigs out of it because you don't build them. That's why the A wing's right. ahead. Yeah. Because you don't build your minifigs, but yeah, you like the set because of the minifigs. Um, number eight for me was actually the bust because they're fun little builds and they look cool. They're not expensive unless you buy all three of them and then you know you're in for two hundred bucks. <laughs> so I and then mean, you got to build the other three that are about to come out. Yeah, and then you got to get the other three. You know, Lego do, Lego knows how to do it to us. <laughs> um, Take my money. But they're fun, like they're intricate in their. Not, not hard, not complex in any way, but they do have a little depth to them, and they're solid. Like, they're great display pieces. That's all they are. Um, number seven for me is the Mario sets. Which we just talked about. Like I said, the Mario sets have a lot more playability with them. They, there's a lot more you can do with them. And number seven for me is the Sith art. And I can actually... So we haven't done any other art than the Sith art, but I feel like if you do one, you've done them all. You're just literally changing colors. The art is not that it's a fun build, but it looks amazing when it's done. The reason why I didn't have it on mine at all is because it is a it does look amazing while it's when it's done, but man, to sit there and just repetitively put those studs on, it just kind of gets annoying. It does. It gets annoying, but when you, at least in my eyes if we had all three of them and yes it would take forever to put a 7,000 piece Darth Vader together or 7,000 piece Iron Man together and I mean I really don't care about the Beatles one or the Warhol one but either one of those like if you had all of that together it would look amazing it would, but going out and spending the money on it price point wise Agreed. is where I... Agreed. They are a little too expensive, but the part count is insanely high. Now granted, you're all, you know, it's all studs, but, but you're, you're the paying, parts count is insanely high. You're paying 130 bucks for pretty much a paint by number poster. Agreed. But it's Lego and they yeah. take our money. <laughs> and maybe they'll send us some more in the future. Or they'll send us some in the future and we can finish our sets. You know, <laughs> finish our what we want to do. Number six for you is the Razor Crest. Uh, I think the Razor Crest ranks pretty high. It was, um, we haven't been doing Lego that long. We haven't even been doing it a full year yet. But Razor Crest was something that it was, it was a set that came out and was like, we're going to make this. And it's not going to be released for like <laughs> Nine seven more months. months. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody was like, "Well, I gotta have one now." Yeah, I mean, even oh, it us. was it was so hyped up, like it it come off of the heels of the first season and said, "We're making a Razor Crest," and we're like, "We and gotta have it." One of the really <laughs> cool things that I think that Lego did with it, Baby and, Yoda. Well, that, but they kept think about how quick they could have threw Baby Yoda in a set to make that money right oh, now. Oh, agree, and, and they didn't, and they didn't. Yeah, they no. waited. I mean, now, you know, the Baby Yoda, if you don't buy the Razor Crest, you have to buy the Biddable figure, and or the character, and that doesn't, I mean, that still is a is a cool set. It's not the same thing, because it's like it's right. just a piece that sits right. there, but you got to wait till next year to actually buy a, a play set That's got a Baby with Yoda the in. Baby Yoda in right. it. Right. So, number six for me is the A-Wing. I just felt like it was a, you know... It, it is. It's not that it's a playset versus anything. It is strictly a display piece, but it does. It is a beautiful set. And the one thing that I didn't talk about when it was up a little higher for me is the A wing was a really cool ship and looks cool. But we even had to Google the the importance of it being in Star Wars. Period. Right, and that's just us not quite keeping up with it, like some you know, yeah, super fans. But 
I mean, I knew I knew what an A-wing, like I knew the A-wing, I knew it was Star Wars ship, but I didn't know it was like... I didn't know it was what took down the Destroyer. Right. I didn't know <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, number five for you, and this is probably one of our biggest differences on this list, and I'm kind of surprised. Well, the every other set that's ranked higher than mine is a little more... So, mine's the Nintendo. The NES system. The it's NES system five. is cool. It it took a lot of my childhood, like the the Nintendo playing Mario on it, and then Duck Hunt and standing at the TV playing Duck Hunt. <laughs> Don't play like you played you didn't for real. Stand. You put the gun against the TV. Yeah, you had to stand at the TV <laughs> and put the gun at it, and all the set itself is really cool. But the reason why I didn't rank it higher is so the coolest thing about it mm-hmm. in my eyes. Or I will say the second coolest. The first coolest thing is the cartridge setup. Right. But the second coolest thing about it is you got to buy the starter set for the Mario to be able to even unlock the the coolest playability part of the whole set. Now building it, building it was was really cool. Yeah. You're building all those gears in there to turn the screen and make it make Mario move up and down. But to me, it just doesn't top as high as the rest of on my list. Number five for me was Diagon Alley. And I think that's more of just, I'm not as big of a Harry Potter fan. It was a fun build. The buildings were cool. There was a ton of detail in it. And it was our first modular build. I yeah, mean, it not really was. anything like that. It was our first modular build. and But it was it was a very, it, it was fun. Like, there was detail, all the cobblestone work out in front of it. And then everything inside the buildings. And all of that combined together made it a really good set that we've put together this year. Or that was a 2020 set, I guess, would be this list. Yeah. Uh, made my top five. Which kind of segues right into his number four is which the is, same set. Yeah, Diagon Alley to me ranked a little higher just because I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, there was a bunch of things that kind of got annoying while building it. One was the stickers, and we talk about it during the stream. I totally understand the price point sticker-wise. I, I get that. But putting all those little stickers on and everything else was kind of a little annoying. But other than that, man, the set was really cool. It came with a bunch of figures that have been portrayed before, so it's really hard to make them like special to the set. But man, even the little things like Harry Potter's minifigure having the dust all over his face from where he says Diagon Alley and yeah. it goes into Nocturne Alley, it just it, it really made it up there for me. Right. That like I said, the great detail in it. And it is, out of a 2020 set, top five worthy. Yeah. Hands down. I mean, it, we, we don't disagree on that. You're just edging it forward just a little bit more than mine. My number four is the Razor Crest. And it's probably, I'm more of a Star Wars fan. And I'm more of a Mando fan than Harry Potter fan, definitely. Just because Mando right now is doing absolutely nothing wrong. And oh, they are. They're killing They're them. making absolute gold. So... It just puts it higher for me. And the Razor Crest is, I mean, it's an awesome ship. It's a really cool build. There's detail in it. There's carbonite uh, prisoners in it. I mean, his sleeping quarters, like, there's a couple nitpicky things. Like, the cockpit is, you know, front to back when it should be side by side. But those are maybe saved for a UCS set down the road. We hope. We hope. We can only hope. (laughs) Number three, we both tied on. And that's the haunted house. That was a fun build, and the, that was probably one of our first or maybe second set that wasn't a big license that we so put together. The really cool thing about the haunted house is there's so much. Like it sounds dumb, but even when you're putting it together, when you read the booklet, the instruction manual, and you get these little oh, well, this ruby means this, and right. you read about it, man, that's so cool. And then the fact that you find out that it's tied to a Lego set that Lego was doing in, in the 90s. 90s. Yeah. You're like, what in the world? Yeah. And it even strike, you know, while me and you were sitting here, I was like, I'm going back and I'm going to look and see how much some of those sets cost. Right. And it made me want to go buy the other sets. It, it had a really cool tie-in with something that happened a long time ago. It has a really cool backstory. And then the fact that it's a ride to me, kind of like we didn't know that no i didn't know that at all and it probably if in all honesty if we would have probably read just a little bit about it we would have known that but i don't like reading these reviews because not even reviews i'm saying a little bit of the release of it oh you might have been like if we would have paid 
a half a percent more attention and realize that they're holding up tickets in their hand <laughs> on the box, we probably would have realized that, oh, hey, we're building an attraction, not an actual haunted house. And I'm surprised that this set didn't rank higher for you, like up closer towards 10. Because that set fought you. You broke that set. Yeah, like but that's just because I kept. But yeah, but that's just because I kept going <laughs> at it. Like I, you know, I. That so the haunted house is one of the biggest sets that we've built that actually have motorized ability. Right, it's the only set we've built that's got motorized ability. No, we built another one, but the it was the older style motors. Oh, okay. But, but I wish it would have come with it. I hate that it's another $70 yeah. like attachment, but I do understand that you're not spending $70 just on that set. It's $70 right. that can be taken off and put on something right. else. Which, down the road, maybe we get a you know, wild hair and buy a motor, and then we get to play with it and do it, but once we put it on there and see it function, it's going to get taken off and the motor will get set aside, maybe for a mock or something like that. That'd be the only reason I would ever say we need to buy one. It's not something you have to have, and realizing that it's a ride, eh, maybe not. You know, it's it's one of those things that the ride aspect, I think, killed it for both of us. Yeah, it was, it was a little, I wanted it to be, I know it was an 18 and upset, and I still know it's a Lego set, but I wanted it to be more creepy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't want it to be an attraction, I wanted it to be a legit haunted house. Like, why is it haunted? So and so, you know, died here or something like that. But no, it's yeah, it's it got a little cooler of a backstory. You know, uh, an explorer went out and found a tomb and stole some stuff from a pharaoh, and the pharaoh followed him back. Type yeah, thing. I mean, and now he's haunting him, haunting him. Yeah, and it, fun set. But your number two is the Ecto One, and I will tell you right now, the Ecto One would have been number one. But I'm salty it doesn't have minifigs. Oh, but is that the only reason? That's the only reason. See, the minifigs didn't... So here's why I also think it did not come with minifigs. Is with everything that's going on in this world right now, and the movie not being released yet, but the Lego set for the movie has been released, I feel like they pulled back on the minifigs. I, I understand that, but... And that... you were never going to get a 1984... Ecto one, but there's only, in two thousand or twenty twenty. There's only one way that they're gonna rectify this, in my opinion, uh -huh. and that's if they make another Ghostbusters set that comes with the kids. Oh, they will. They're going to. You know, they have to. I don't know because they, they have to. They have the license. I mean, you got to think when they've ha the firehouse. The firehouse is a cool big set, uh -huh. but you still have to buy the Ecto one separate just to get the characters. And the Ecto-1 for the firehouse. But that firehouse come out a while ago. Yeah, I know. Compared to release times of these movies. Oh, I understand. So, my number two is Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And that was our first set that we did that was not Star Wars or not Harry Potter or... Trademarked from a car brand. Yeah. It was... I mean, it was hands down like the straight Lego up... ideas. Yeah, it was the first... Second, I take that back, idea set we did. We did Saturn. Yeah, Saturn. But the Bar Barracuda Bay was, the set was awesome. The way the detail, when it was busted apart, and as a shipwreck, the detail with the moss and the leaves growing, and the way they put the detail into the palm trees, and didn't just make them, you know, a cheap little Lego tree. And then the ability to pull all that apart and actually put the ship back together was awesome. I mean, the the one thing that I'll say, because this is my number one, that re one of the reasons it ranked number one is it is so cool because if you were actually wanting to sit down and play with that, you could take that ship, snap that ship together, and then actually play like you're... Yeah. floating along in the ocean and you hit it and all of a sudden you know you got there's your it. shipwreck yeah now you're shipped <laughs> i mean you just gotta it, it had so much playability it's so cool it comes with a bunch of me i don't figures. know if it's got that much playability because it is a big heavy set but i understand but what all you're the doors saying. open the cannons fire I, all the cannons 100 percent. i understand open. what you're saying but it is a big heavy I mean, set it is to be a playability set and that's why I think that's why they made it to where you can do that, but you also have that option to display, and it looks so nice displayed. So my number one is my tie. 
that is the Ecto-1 for me and the NES. The NES we've already covered. It's pure nostalgia. The way the Mario interacts with it. Everything. It just the build, the controller, the wire that goes to the console. The, I wish we would have done wires to the TV. But even the stickers on the TV that replicate an old school tube TV. The knob makes the a noise. The knob when you makes turn a it. noise <laughs> when you turn channels. Like it's showing our age a little bit, but that set is an amazing attention to detail. And as is the Ecto One. The building of the Ecto One and especially building the engine bay and the engine and having everything down to a master cylinder for the brakes. A battery. And a battery, <laughs> a radiator, battery cables. All of that detail under the hood that you don't even see unless you pop the hood is what makes that rank so high for me. The Ghostbuster side of it really is not that big of a deal for me. Really? Not not as big as it is for you. But the the see, detail that's in the set is the what puts it that The craziest thing about me and you is we're near the same age. You are older. But all the movies that came out in the 80s, I, didn't really I absolutely watch. love. Right, and, and I didn't really, like, yeah, eh, eh, whatever. whatever, I ain't seen them in so long. <laughs> it don't really matter. And then you try to go watch them now, and you're like, oh, how did I even watch this? Ah, that's a movie that will always stay in its time with me. Next up is going to be the sets that we really wanted to build that we haven't built yet. And when I upload these pictures, a lot of the times you'll see on this why. Because from their Legos website, every single one of these are sold out. Still. <laughs> almost. Almost all. So my number five, I've kind of changed around a little bit. At first when we were kind of making this list and talking about it before we did the video, Sesame Street is low on my want to do's i don't have a connection to sesame street i don't care about it the minifigs are cool but that's it i don't care anything about it so and and it was one of those things of these sets have we're trying to do sets that have just come out this year and we're trying to keep them a larger size because in all honesty if we wanted to go out and buy a 20 dollars set there's nothing stopping us to go buy a 20 dollars set that's not going to make a list for us we're talking bigger sets but I kind of fir it first stuck the Sesame Street in at my five, and it's in at your five also. But some of the Ninjago sets, the more we look at them, they look more appealing. We just know absolutely nothing about the series, and I think that's why we've shot away from them some. But they are coming. Yeah. We will but, get them. Yeah, because uh, in all honesty, we're going to run out of Star Wars stuff to do because they're the, not putting out much next year. The really cool thing about the Ninjago sets, too, is the fact that they're all going to be priced very well because they're not major sets that are going to be geared towards adults. Right. They're going to be for kids. But the they're licensing not, also. It's well, that, Legos, not gonna, it's, own, it's Lego's own thing. It's not like Lego's having to pay Disney yeah. for Star Wars or whoever for harry potter or whatever but what i'm saying is is you're not going to get a, a 10 year old kid that wants a ninjago set you're not going to make a 500 hundred dollar set no, for that no you won't star wars you you'll will. make four 100 sets and still get all 400 dollars yes. of or five of them yeah but. so number four for you is the coliseum which is brand new as we're making this video the coliseum i really don't have any the only one i want to build it is because of its size I think that it looks very plain. It's a bunch of pieces, yes, but it just it doesn't do nothing for me. So my number four is the AT-80 because, I mean, we have them. Like, they don't change but much. you haven't built one yet. I agree. I haven't built one yet. But we have. They're, it's not. They just keep releasing the same sets. It's like if another X-Wing comes out, Yes, yeah, sure, we'll buy it, build it, but there's no excitement behind it because really, what's changing? Like, it's the same thing over and over and over when you get that same size stuff. Now, if they were to release a UCS ATAT -AT that stood three oh, and a half feet tall, hands down, done, bolt. <laughs> different story, but you release the same scale ATAT -AT and you can change certain things, and yes, it's going to be fun and it adds to the collection, but that's why it's down farther on my what we have 
you know what we haven't got to do yet. Your number three it's and my number three are the same. Is the child? Yes, and it's just one of those ones of we just haven't had a chance to buy it yet because it's been out of stock. You, I mean, it's a it doesn't rank really high for me um, or higher just because it is one of the things that you build and you just sit it there. There's no move, maneuverable parts or anything else. It's just I've built Yoda. I kind of feel like I've built Baby Yoda, to be honest. Kinda, yeah. So your number two is the ATAT, and mine's the Coliseum. So we kind of we flipped there. So your ATAT, why, why is it so high? It's just because it's an ATAT. ATAT is one of my favorite vehicles. It, I think they look cool. They're a, they're a cool functioning one. It's if I buy this ATAT, mm -hmm. this will be the first store bought ATAT that I've bought. The other, the other two that I have have came from a collection, and the one, the other big one I have it's like, it's was a, a yeah, it yeah. was a mock that somebody else created. Right. So when I buy this, this will be the first store bought one that I have. So there's a little, there's a little reason there. I can understand that. My number two is the Coliseum. You just want to build it because it's big. It's the size is one reason. In You're all honesty, queen. you are too. <laughs> the size. There's a lot of history behind the building. Hands down, there's a lot of history. It's yeah. pretty cool. And all honesty, the White House looks really nice. The big White House yeah. that is just come out or coming out. What I'm, I'm not sure. I can't it's remember came, off the top of my it's head. It's been out for a while. No, it was this year. Yeah, but I mean, it's been out since. But for that a while. I mean, the the set looks real pretty sitting there. It looks nice, but it's architecture stuff, and we haven't done any of it. And I don't feel like I will either. No, probably not. But I'm just saying, it still looks nice. Yeah. But that Coliseum is that size of that thing has to be. It will draw your attention. It's like, it's like the Falcon and like the Star Destroyer, where when you walk in a room, you will see that yeah. set. Or if you see us on camera, as long as it's in frame, you're going to see that set and you're <laughs> going to know exactly what it is. That's why it's up there, for me. And then our number ones are the same, which is my size. My size. Uh, there's no. There's no. I had no. I no doubt that we would not have the same number one out of the list we were talking back and forth and it's just honestly it's sold out and that's why we haven't done it yet and like i said there's a there's a whole bunch of things that i think would be like honorable mentions just like all the ninjago sets we're we're not necessarily saying that something is bad and we don't want to build it there's just stuff that we don't know about and we haven't really jumped into yet um that we're going to we've already talked we're going to go get ninjago sets we are um, there's a bunch of stuff that we think we need to get where before I kind of sat back and was like, I'll just wait for the next $400 set to drop versus, hey, while we're waiting, why not we buy these little sets and see what they're like or these smaller sets and see what they're like. Right. Um, I'm actually planning on going back and I want to watch the Ninjago movie. I want to, I want to see what it's about. I want to see if I can get into it. Uh, other than that, we're just waiting for the 2021 sets. All those little sets that we're going to get. And All of that. The first wave of Star Wars that drops, I've already told Haley I'm feeling a buggy up. It. <laughs> all, all this, uh, we'll be here next year, and none of those sets are going to be on this list. <laughs> I'm calling it now. We can go back and check to see if I was right, but I have a feeling the sets the top that, ten? The, yeah, the sets that have leaked right now will not be on the top ten if there is, there may be one. Are you or talking two. just Star Wars? What else is leaked? Like, give me I don't even know what it is, but I guarantee you the two hundred and fifty dollars Harry Potter set that drops next year will be on my top ten. <laughs> if it, yeah, okay. So that's what I'm saying. There may be one or two of those that have leaked, but that I don't consider that a full leak because we have absolutely no idea about it. We just know it's Harry Potter, and we know it's big. And we know it's better. Yeah, we know it's expensive. We know it's Harry Potter. <laughs> we don't. We haven't seen a picture. We've seen a picture of the Tie Fighter. We know the uh, X Wing, the X -wing, the, Mando the Mando packs. Or I mean, they're going to be cool little sets, but they're not going to make a top ten. No, not for us at least. No. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of our opinion on what twenty twenty sets we have done this year, and then a small little list of what we kind of wish we could have done this year if Lego would have had stock. And then the only other set that we really think that might get dropped this year that we didn't put in our list at all is the police station. 
I don't know if I will buy the police station or if I won't buy it. I, I really don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It's a cool set, but I feel like that that $200 can be saved and, and used towards something that we right. would enjoy better. Right. When LEGO wants to start sending us all these sets for free, we'll be more than happy to review the other ones. <laughs> but until then, we're going to stick to what we know. Yeah. And we're going to leave this video in your inbox. <laughs> Hey, Lego, pay attention to us. Yeah. But that was our review of the best 2020 sets. Please like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.